Hey y'all, I didn't tell anyone I was coming on, but I'm on and we're gonna go. We're down in Oak Creek Canyon. I needed the water today and it's getting real late. The wind's whipping up, but I'm gonna do a reading with my friend's new deck and I needed to get close to the water and it was too late to go to West Fork Trail because I had to keep going back and uh, check in on Lager to make sure he was okay. So I was whipping along and I'm like, I was asking myself questions like, okay, do I go left? Do I go right? And left would have mean, meant pull over at Midgley Bridge, which would have been a really cool view for you guys. But there was no water. And I'm hearing in my head, go left, go left. And I'm like, no, there's no freaking water. So it's like, why do you even ask if you're not going to listen? So I'm cruising along up here. This is the road up to Flagstaff. And I'm like, I know there's a spot along here that I've jumped down and I've gone swimming before. And I saw a car pull over and I'm like, hey, that's it. Let's pull over. I didn't bring my glasses. I've got these totally, um, I got these new Ray-Ban glasses at the Goodwill. <laughs> I went today to get a pot because I broke a pot and uh, I got these reflective, you know, the, the mirrored glasses and I put them on and I had them with my security hat. It was so funny. I'm like, she's a cop. She's a cop. Hi. Okay. Check out where we are. So it's deep enough, like I'd be up to my, probably up to my neck right there. And it's clear. I love this water. I should have brought my freaking water jugs. Oh, I wonder if I have one in my car because everybody gets water out of, the, out of the creek. And then I put grapefruit seed oil in it to clarify for any little amoebas or any little bugs that are in there. I so wanted to go climbing and this is even better than West Fork Trail. <laughs> it is. It's not as much walking and look, I got waterfalls. Where's Uncle Phil? I got waterfalls. Oh my God. So my friend, John, John Mosley, he's an artist. Um, I said when I did the reading, look at that little heart. I said when I did the reading, I would have his painting behind me, but I can't carry it with me here. So uh, I've got a painting of his, I've, I've got the print and it's called, um, goddess rising and it's me now the first picture i had was a picture that i had by another friend art, artist friend here in sedona and it was called the re the rebirth which was what happened when i came to sedona and that's when i was just totally learning everything right and now it's me now after i've learned it all the goddess not learned it all but <laughs> learned it to the place where i know who i am so the deck that i got of his isn't that badass it's, uh, I think it's called, I don't even remember what it's called. I have to pull it out and show you. But the main picture on the deck is my painting, The Goddess Rising. And uh, I opened it up yesterday. Normally I open up stuff online with you guys, but I don't know. I felt like I needed to just sit with it for a little while. Look at those berries. And I sat there for a while with it. And then I, uh, juniper berries. Oh. Isn't that pretty? Look at the color. It's so beautiful. So I sat for it, sat with it for a while, and I, uh, should we read right there? I opened it up finally, and the, there was a card that was the opening card, and it was amazing. It was such a huge message to me, personally. So I asked him if he puts that card in for everyone. Or does everybody get maybe a different card? And he goes, no. Everyone that gets their first deck gets that card. And I said, okay, it works. It was still a message for me. So tell me, you guys, is it too loud here for you to hear if I do a reading? Oh, man. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Ding. I so love climbing. I love this tree. Check it out. They start out together and they separate as they grow apart and go on their way. It's a family tree, right? So I was gonna sit here, but I think I wanna get as close to the water as I can so I can get my feet in it. God, it's humid. We had thunderstorms last night. I don't know if you guys saw my lightning pictures. They were pretty cool. I wish I'd let my freaking camera just be on a tripod and just watch because I could have got the most amazing shots 
I think I'll do that next time. Yeah, it's quieter here. Isn't that beautiful? Taking a deep breath. <laughs> oh, man. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Who's calling? Who's calling? You gotta show yourself. Okay. I keep thinking I'm gonna stop and I don't. Where do we go? How low do we go? Just gotta see who's there. Isn't it gorgeous? It is simply gorgeous. Okay. I actually have a little tripod too that I can set my um, camera up. So we're away from the waterfall, so it's not quite so loud. Okay, check this out. You wanna talk about determined? There's no water. This tree, the roots are reaching for the water. Look, he's got his, he's got his roots in the water right there. And this fills up, Oak Creek Canyon, this fills up really high, but man, through the rocks and everything, that's perseverance if I ever I saw it, right? Full circle completion, black and white, yin and yang, harmony. Okay. I just gotta make sure I don't run into any poison oak because my ankles are exposed and I don't want it. It's no fun. Oh, I like this. Baby Moses, baby Moses <laughs> in the reeds. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Hi, Jim. <laughs> hey, John. Okay. Mm, we're running out of spots to sit. Shoot. I guess we're going back a squirt. Items to choose from. The waterfall. The river. This is Oak Creek Canyon. I guess we'll go right here. And uh, the tree that's determined, right? That tree is freaking not letting go, not giving up. That's for damn sure. Or, woo, my water bottle is leaking on me. What the heck? Okay, let's see. It's not as pretty right here, you guys. God. I know I bug, I bug everybody, but I gotta find like the perfect spot. The perfect spot was by the waterfall, but it was so loud. I don't care, it's pretty. Okay. How about here? Yeah, right here. This is it. This is the money spot. Isn't that tree amazing? Okay. Let me set us up. All righty. I'm trying to figure out why my water bottle is leaking all inside of my... Hope I didn't pop a leak in it. That sucks. Okay. So get your items ready. Whatever you want to choose from. I'm going to use Tammy's little handy dandy. Actually, this one isn't Tammy's. I got a little... Uh... I got this little tripod. It works so that I can put it on uneven surfaces. Okay. I don't know how, how loud it's gonna be. Last time I had somebody say they couldn't hear because of all the background noise, but can you hear me? Can I ask that question? Can you, you pick the tree? Yeah, I like that tree, that tree is pretty, you know, not gonna give up. I like that. Endurance. Okay. You can hear? Okay, that's not a cool spot. Come on, let's find a cool spot. <laughs> I'm annoying me. I'm annoying myself. Damn it. Hold on. I just wanna get closest to the water. Okay. Dang this little thing. Come on, tighten up. Tighten up. I gotta tighten this sucker up. So the deck, um, I will say for people with little hands, it's it's the cards are kind of big for me. The the pictures are of course absolutely incredible because 
He's an incredible artist. Good God, are we upside down? There, sorry. There we go. Whoop, there we go. Alrighty. Can hear you great? Okay, perfect. Can you hear me even, even when the camera's down here, Tammy? Oh, that's a great shot. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my water bottle lid's undone. That's why it's leaking everywhere. What the hell? Fix that. Okay. So here we go. First of all, you guys. Okay, awesome. Okay. First of all, we're gonna start with my deck, The Naked Truth 333. Spirit said, start with your own, and then we can use John's deck. Uh, and I will tell you that John's deck is uh, it's an animal spirit deck. And it, I'll, I'll show it to you, it's beautiful. I'll show it to you first. Oh shit, water got into the back of the bag, so I hope it didn't get in his cards. It comes, it's got this little sack with Archangel Metatron's sacred geometry, a little velvet sack, which is cool. Gotta rescue it because there was water in my bag. It wouldn't be part, you know, it wouldn't be a big deal if there was water on my deck because I'm a mermaid. It's gotta be water. Okay. This is the deck, spirit cards. It's John Arthur Mosley is my friend. His work is amazing. And this is the card that came and that's Twin Souls, if ever I saw it. And what's amazing about it is the, the cats, right? Together we rise. I love that. And that's for all of us, together we rise. And right then the bird chirped, did you hear that? It actually squealed. Okay, so before we use John's deck, we're gonna start with my deck. We're gonna start with my deck, The Naked Truth 333, or 333 The Naked Truth. Oh, check it out. <laughs> I'm so happy that I came. I wish I could give myself a freaking thumbs up. This is so freaking awesome, look. <laughs> look how clear the water is. People are like, what are you doing in the desert? Because I've got a canyon like this. I've got freaking water. I just noticed it's 147 miles to the Grand Canyon, straight up this road. Okay. Right now, we're gonna choose. For those who chose, okay, our items to choose from. We had the canyon, we had the trees, we had, or that tree anyway, that really badass tree. Um, The security hat, <laughs> the cop hat, and my Mojave turquoise, okay? Mojave turquoise, which is mined in Kingman, Arizona, right here. So for those who chose the tree, the tree that is not freaking given up, it's also talking about your roots, you know, your roots run deep. Water the roots, the flowers will take care of themselves, but you gotta make sure that you water the roots, right? And those roots were desperately getting, reaching for the water, which is spirits, water. The water of spirit or emotion in a relationship, right? Okay, I should probably let you guys see. This is what's so funny. John's deck just got completed, right? It's 50 bucks for his deck. And he's got the card. He comes in a beautiful box that opens up. I sent my, for my picture for my deck off to the printers today, the cover picture. And it's, it's not gonna be, um, it's not gonna be every different card with a different picture. It's gonna have one picture on every card because it's just a statement. That's just, it's spirit said, keep it simple. So check out how my deck is right now. It's in a plastic baggie. The lady at the place said, can you send me what you want us to do? And I said, well, I've, I've got them printed out, but they're just kind of on paper. And she goes, okay, can you send us the cardstock? And I'm like, no, you don't understand. These are like on strips of paper, like one by three. 
and they're in a baggie. And she laughed and she's like, right on, keeping it simple, right? And I said, that's it, keeping it simple. God, I don't have a necklace on. That's weird. Okay, I want you to live with me, will you? <laughs> that's a good one. I want you to live with me, will ya? Woo! Depends on who's asking. <laughs> okay, everybody gets two messages. I want you to live with me, will you? Next one. You make me feel alive. You make me feel alive. Okay, I'm gonna switch this and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna let you guys see that, that section while I go through John's cards, whoops, and find the one that we're supposed to use. I guess I could bring you up here. That way it won't fall into the water for sure. But we might as well get as much of a view as possible in this gorgeous area, right? Ooh, look at the reflection in the water. I like that. Okay. So I'll let you watch me shuffle. So what were the messages? You make me feel alive and I want you to live with me, will you? I'm saying that to my twin. I want you to live with me, will you? <laughs> Woo! Okay, hold on. Here we go. I want, I want you to see me shuffle these beautiful cards. I've got to be careful, man, because I've got stuff balancing on this rock. That's kind of crazy, but that's the way I do it. Okay, here's his cards, okay? They've got the sacred geometry, one picture on the outside, but it's got every other card, every card's got a beautiful painting of his. They're, they're um, organized into power spirit animals. They're organized into, woo! Okay, oh my God, this is amazing! I said that I wanted my, I, I was asking that of my twin, right? Hold on. <laughs> I said I asked that of my twin, right? And what did I say? Was the, the deck cover? And who did I say it was? The goddess rising. So this is the goddess rising. Is this, I wish you could see this. Hold on, I'm gonna flip it. This is the painting that I have. So what you see is you see this goddess who is so connected to it. This is actually mother nature. This is Gaia, this is, this is the goddess, this is the empress, okay? And she's got her powerful panther right at her side. <laughs> her beautiful black cat, that's her ferociousness, that's her astral travel, that's her loyal companion. She's got the macaws to the right of her, your left, but it's actually to her right, which is talking about speaking her truth boldly, colorfully, she's got the tablets falling. The tablets are, are, are spirits water, right? When the great wave comes, go to the mountain. The mountain is her. She is the mountain. When the great wave comes, go to the mountain. The mountain with the tablets. The mountain tableau. Tableau is the waterfall. The butterflies, transformation. This speaks about embodiment, empowerment, awakening. This one is fully awakened. And I've, I've got a message that um, another reader that I really like, she's got a channel called... Um, She's got a channel called Pis uh, Pisces TV. And she said something that I really like. I agree with her. Somebody decided to call the sun a masculine energy, and it's not. The, the sun makes everything grow, right? The sun is Gaia. The sun is feminine. It doesn't mean that it's, that it's um, a man can't be the sun, but it's talking about this. Look what's behind her emanating from her, the sun. It's the mother, Mother Earth, that makes everything grow, right? The goddess energy. This is talking about your nurturing energy. This is talking about stepping into your full power, not being afraid to speak colorfully the truth of, of what you know, of what you've learned. Her, her mask, she's not wearing a freaking, let's look at it closer, whoops. She's not wearing a mask to cover herself up. <laughs> that wasn't good, hold on. Her mask is the peacock. The peacock is the phoenix rising because she has arisen. And she has in full transformation. She has the snake of healing and transformation also wrapped around her left arm. She's clutching this golden robe that pours out life-giving waters. The moon stands behind her. See, she is the sun. There's the moon right there. 
So the goddess is the sun. I love this. So it's asking for you to step into your power. Fully step into your power. Recognize the strength of who you are. Knowing that you've got this loyal energy walking next to you. Now, if you want to bring it right back down to human nature and human peoples. The first two messages were, I want you to live with me. And you make me feel alive. I want you to live with me. This, if this isn't life all around, number one, keep your thoughts positive. What you're thinking about right now, what you're focusing about, you're manifesting. Because one minute after you state something, think something, write something, you begin to manifest it. So this is the feminine in all of her glory, in all of her power. She is calling you forward. She's illuminated by the sun itself. This is, oh my God, I love this. So it's talking, we all have this within us, right? We all have the goddess energy within us. That water is, is also unconditional loving water pouring down from spirit. The irises, they're always the symbol of royalty and victory. They're to the right of her, to the left of her, left of her. Ooh, I like that. I didn't think about that. Her panther and the snake and the iris is all to the left, heart side, Right? So this is talking about step into who you really are fully. You are on your right path. You are standing in your truth. You're standing in your power. You're standing in your integrity. You're honoring yourself. You're honoring the earth. You're honoring nature. And nature honors you. Oh, I love this. So the goddess is asking, will you come live with me? You take care of this planet. You take care of these animals of mine. You take care of this earth. This, this one knows that these ones are her friends. She walks with no fear. These are her loyal companions. This is fucking phenomenal. Okay, we just got another ma little message. I don't know who it was. All right, we're going to go to the next message. Hold on. See who's there. Hello from Vermont. Hello. What was the other one? Hello from... Oh, I lost it. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, I can't go back so far. I'm sorry. Okay, next message. You guys look that way. You guys are go fishing up river while I pull out the next message. Okay. For those who chose Oak Creek Canyon, and I did for sure. For those who chose Oak Creek Canyon. For those who chose Oak Creek Canyon. Oh. I let you watch me pick it out from, from the grab bag. <laughs> Correct for neutrality on all levels, Father. <sighs> I know that we are completely guided, protected, and loved right here. And we are being absolutely Raven's magic and miracles flying by right there. I ask, I mean, I don't even need to ask for a blessing on this reading because we are being blessed right now. This, this is it. This is it. But I am asking that my hands are guided and that my hands choose the card that is what most important, most appropriate, most helpful for the most amount of people who chose the beauty of Oak Creek Canyon. First message. There has been a misunderstanding. Take the steps to clarify. Now, this is either, this is either something that you need to do or somebody else that's connected to you needs to, to know. I mean, I already know that. There's been a misunderstanding and the steps need to be taken to clarify. Whatever it is, okay? That's the first message. I love that clouds up there. I love that. That view right there is incredible. Give me some hearts for that. I freaking love that. Correct for neutrality. For those who chose Oak Creek Canyon. Oh, I'll let you watch me choose. Hey, guide me to the right one. I had my hand on one and I had my top, the top part of my thumb on another and I was told top one. So, oh my God, are you ready for this? I want you to live with me, will you? <laughs> Talk about persistent. Just in case you forgot, I want you to live with me, will you? <laughs> I chose this one. Ooh, so maybe someone's asking me to live with them or maybe it's just me again saying it. Okay, so what was the first one? Was that the first one? I can't even freaking remember. Oh, there's been a misunderstanding. Take the steps to clarify it, okay? And I want you to live with me. Okay, here we go. 
We'll go this way again. It's quieter this way. Okay. So in John's deck, correct for neutrality on all levels. So t- keeping in mind, that's why the, the goddess rising, it was, you know, it was the divine feminine that was standing there speaking. So it was the divine feminine saying, I want you to live with me. Okay. So now this one again says, I want you to live with me. I can't see you, but I'll let you watch me shuffle the cards and pray that I don't drop them in the water. I'm scared to drop them in the water. Hold on a second. (laughs) Okay. Jaguar spirit. This one, this is talking about the energy of this one. This one is their own authority. They make their own decisions. They don't dance to anybody else's tune. They speak the truth. They stand in their integrity. They know an opportunity and they probably know it before they're before their partner will know it, they'll be on it. That's the energy of the Jaguar. Absolute respect for the Jaguar. Absolute respect for the Panther, right? So this is telling you, the number is 24. I should have looked at the other number. Um, okay, they're telling me to show you guys something. I got to see what it is. Okay, you look around while I figure out what the hell it is that I'm supposed to show you. Oh, I am supposed to show you the Twin Caves. Okay. I just was looking right here as I was shuffling. And what's interesting is they're both in the shape of a heart. Can you see them? They're in the shape of a heart. And they're twin caves on this rock. And if you look closely, there's hearts all the way along here. And then there's a fish. Look. There's the eye of the fish. Following the current. Going upstream. Going upstream. But they're not going upstream. They're actually going downstream. But they're going with the flow of the water. There's twin caves. Okay, so there's two homes on the same level. Home is where your heart is. How cool is that? Okay, so somebody says, you make me feel alive. Or was that the last one? No, there's been a misunderstanding between these two or between someone else. So you know your own authority. These eyes speak the truth. The panther or the jaguar... As I said, you know what I'm looking at about these eyes? This eye right here is blue, and this eye is aqua, like barrel crystal color over here. So what I'm getting from this is this is being shown, but this is the truth. This is the truth of the matter. So there's been a misunderstanding. Take the steps to clarify it. In the light, this is how I appear. But in the night, this is how I am. This is who I really am. I stand in my truth, my honor, my integrity. I may have to be a little bit more colorful in my job, but the truth of the matter is this is who I am. So the number two, everything is happening exactly as it is meant to happen. Divine blessings for everyone involved. Let go and have faith. Four, there are angels all around you. You're completely guided, protected, and loved. There's no reason for fear. And two and four talks about six. Six says integrity. Six is victory. But six in angel terms says you're too focused on the material world over here. You need to step back into alignment and and, and line up more with your panther energy. Don't be so focused on the material world. You can't walk two paths and be in balance. You need to come back into balance. You need to come back into balance with that. When you keep your eyes on spirit, When your focus is on spirit, everything else that you need will be brought to you. The opportunities that you need will be brought to you. You don't have to be scrambling around 
worrying about the things of this world because spirit will take care of it. So, hello from, where did you say? Hello. Um, so the jaguar spirit. I mean, you do know that the jaguar and the panther are the same, right? It's the same energy. So, as I said, you can see the opportunities that are before you. You're probably going to see them before anybody else sees them, and you're going to be able to grab them and do something with them. But you might have lost your focus. You might have been too centered, too focused on something in this material world because you're being asked to keep your focus back on the highest self. So what I like about this is no matter what, the energy is positive no matter what. And just like you are your own inner authority, no one's going to tell you what to do. You might be working with a little bit of ego. No one's going to tell you what to do. No one's going to... You might have a battle of wills happening. That might be going on. Um, no one's going to tell you who to be with. No one's going to tell you how to get something done. And so when you know that you are capable and when you know that you've got this, it might be a little bit of a clash and spirit saying to come back into balance. Gosh, I need to come back into nap time. Check this out. Circles under those eyes. Today is 724. 724. 7. You're on the right path. It will exceed it, your expectations. 2. Everything's happening exactly as it is meant. With divine blessings for everyone involved, let go and have faith. 4. The angels are with us. Why did you say today's 724? Am I missing something? Probably. Um, so what else can I tell you about the by the pan by the I was gonna the by the panther the panther the jaguar I think he's got a panther in here as well, but what's going on right now is you need to tell yourself and you need to remind yourself because you have such a connection to your highest self the astral plane because the panther the panther is is your astral and this is a jaguar but it's it's the same family. You've got a connection to the spirit realm and you've got to tap more into that because you've got that connection. You don't need anybody else's approval. You don't need to, to concern yourself with what anybody else thinks. You make your own decisions. You stand in your integrity. You are your own authority as long as you trust here and here. So the message was there's been a misunderstanding. Take steps to clarify it, then do it, right? Security says take, take the steps and do it. Are you waiting for somebody else to make it right when you're the own, you're your own inner authority? You're the one that needs to do it. Stand tall. Stand tall in your power. Right? Take control of your life. Fuck what anybody else says. Do your own thing. Don't be concerned and don't be worried about clashes as far as as far as, because I'm thinking about, somebody said, would you like me to live with you? And there's this panther power, and it looks like there's like a clash of authority. So it's like, who's the authority you're clashing with? There should not be any clash. You should recognize someone that has the same energy, the same power as you. Do you see that ver that's vortex in the sky right there? It's, I, I can't pull it in clear enough for you guys to see it. Let's see if I can. It's literally swirling in the sky. Oh, I can't, I, I can literally see the swirl. It's amazing. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. You know your own inner authority. You don't need anybody's approval. Do what you got to do. Okay, next one. Hold on. What was it? We got the river. We got the tree. We got the... Remind me what I chose because I, I've got the, um, my ring. I remember that, but I can't remember my other one. For those who chose, we'll do the Mojave Ring. Correct for neutrality on all levels. The Mojave Ring. Mojave Ring. The Mojave Turquoise. Turquoise is my soul color. I said to Spirit, I, I want my turquoise back. I want my soul back, which means I want my soul mate back. Okay, correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the Mojave Turquoise, For those who chose the Mojave Turquoise,
I love how independent you are. That's sexy. <laughs> like that. I like that energy. <laughs> Correct for neutrality on all levels. I love how independent you are. They're, that's so sexy. Teach me how to please you. Damn. Damn. <laughs> okay. Well. Alrighty then. <laughs> Let's get our card. Alrighty. For those who chose the Mojave Ring, Tammy, I need your help. What was the other item that we chose? What was the other item we chose? There's the Mojave Ring. There's the turquoise. I mean, that is the turquoise. We did the tree. We did the creek. The Mojave Ring. What's the other one? I love it. Oh, check this out. I love this. Acceptance, trust, destiny. You're following your freaking destiny. Teach me how to please you. I love how independent you are. That's sexy. Surrender. This is, this is like taking that leap of faith and allowing it just to go. Go with it. Accept things as they are. Whatever's going on in your life right now. There's no use trying to go upstream, right? The river's great to float down. It's beautiful. Trust that spirit has everything in control. You're following your destiny. When we struggle, we're going against our own soul. There's no need to struggle. Surrender doesn't mean I give up. Surrender means I give it over to you, right? This is what I want. This is what I'd like to have happen, but I give it to you. Whatever is in the highest good, I surrender, spirit. The number 36, three, ascended masters are working with you, probably ones you're most familiar with. Six, again, victory. If that's not a victory, Jan, look at that. She's taking a freaking leap of faith, she is. Again, remember, don't be so concerned with all of the bullshit that's going on. Don't be so concerned with this material world. Accept the way that spirit knows what it's doing. Trust that things are going the way they're meant to go. You're following your destiny. You are the one who creates your destiny. There's fate. Fate says A, B, C, D. How you get from A, B to C to D, that's your destiny. You get to create your destiny. Look who's backing you, Archangel Metatron. The sacred geometry is completely at your back. And look what's in front of you, a clean slate. It's a brand new future. There's nothing even been, nothing even has been expressed there. You get to express it. You are the expression of it. And then three and six together is nine. Nine is telling you, you've got everything you need in order to move forward on your spiritually illuminated path. Stop procrastinating. This one doesn't look like she's procrastinating. She's surrendered. She's already said, look, I know where it's going. I know what my destiny is because I've called it in. I've created my own destiny. I know what it is. I'm trusting in spirit. 1,000% I surrender to my highest good, to your highest good, to the highest good of all. I love how independent you are. That's freaking sexy. Teach me how to please you. She's like naked. She's naked. She's open, vulnerable, and exposed. She's not hiding anything, right? What you see is what you get. There's no games. There's no tricks. That's sexy. Okay. I like that. <laughs> okay. Let's go this way. We're going back upstream. We're looking upstream. And for those who chose the security hat, I chose all of these because they're all my things. I love them all. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the security hat, I, need, I just need to make sure I, did, I didn't drop any in here. No, okay. If anybody would like help with a private reading, or a dream analysis, or any of my crystal creations, or any of my holistic skincare line, my, the Angels Directed. My website is www.theangelswhisper.com. My email address is sherrycolumbus at yahoo.com. If you like these videos, 
click the like button click the share button click the all button so that you get notified every time these videos go up because this is going on YouTube this is my I need to put this on because I'm in the river and it's not happening but pretty quick the mosquitoes are gonna come out and there's essential oils in here that they don't like so it not only helps my skin it keeps the little buggers away so they don't uh, suck my blood <laughs> okay so for those who chose the security hat what's in our magic bag of tricks <laughs> What's in the magic bag of tricks? For those who chose the security hat. Shyness is a factor. I know, and I love that about you. <laughs> Shy guys are the best guys. Shyness is a factor. Okay, correct for neutrality. Shyness is a factor. You know I'm talking to my twin. These are all about my twin and I, for me. I don't know what your story is, but Correct for neutrality on all levels. Woo, we got, hold on. I thought we had, we had two in my hand and they said only one. Okay, what is the best one? Most appropriate. Wow, they are very angry, back off. Somebody is very angry, that's interesting. They are very angry, security. They are very angry. Back off. I want to know. I need clarification for that. Shyness is a factor and they are very angry. So those are like two different situations, I would think. Correct for neutrality on all of us. Who's angry? You need to choose now. You need to choose now or lose him or her. Wow. You know what I just saw? my mom in myself i literally am looking at my face and i just saw a look and i looked like my mother completely so is somebody's mother angry i don't know tammy who's angry the mom wow or the dad no i saw my mom in my face correct for neutrality are we going for another i don't know this is strange because these are these are all over the place maybe they'll come together with the card the main card shyness is a factor they're very angry back off so it could be several different situations okay so I don't know who's very angry in my life I have no idea and if they're gonna be very angry my energy is fantastic and I feel great so they can just take it with them because it's not affecting me but it might not be for me right I don't think I said I chose this yeah I did I said I chose this hat so somebody's very angry back off and shyness is a factor you need to choose now or lose him or her. Somebody might be angry. There may be somebody else that wants someone and they're angry. I was also shown that there's somebody that's trying to, that's going between two that wants, is juggling, wants both. And so is holding on to the past because they want both. And I'll tell you, if that were to be the case for me, it would be, I'd be very angry, back the fuck off. And you can all, you don't have to choose because you've already lost. That's my message. I don't share and I don't come in second best ever. So let's see, correct for neutrality. One more father, show us, is there something that we can clarify this or, or what? This is a karmic lesson you must learn and then stop. I'm gonna leave it. It'll just be what it is. And then everybody's gonna to have to figure out what those messages are. So in somebody's case, they're very angry, back off. Um, shyness is a factor. Um, this is a karmic lesson that you need to learn and then leave it, right? Then stop because once you've learned the lesson, you don't keep repeating it again and again. You don't have to, but you're gonna to have to learn this lesson, whatever it is. Somebody's very angry and you need to choose now or lose them. Lose him or her. Choose now. So we'll leave it at that, and then we'll go to our, car, our card from John and see what it is. Which direction do we want? That's pretty cool. Look at the light shining from down there. I said this way. This way's pretty cool. Okay. 
So let's go get, oh wait, that's not the right way, is it? Is it? There. All right, I like that view, I think that's beautiful. Going downstream is so much easier. <laughs> it's all noisy upstream and rough. It's so peaceful and gentle and gorgeous down there. So I say, with these messages, with these messages, if somebody's really angry, I don't want to be around that. <laughs> I don't need that energy in my life, right? I, I want to be happy. So if there's a karmic lesson that needs to be learned, whatever is going on, maybe you're dealing with someone right now and it's difficult. Um, you're causing your own issues. If karmic lesson is something that keeps coming back and back. It might be a past life thing. Um, it might be just a family cycle, a generational cycle, but you've got to learn this lesson. I don't know. Shyness being a factor, I'm not quite sure. I'm not shy. Um, somebody's really angry, back off. I'm not angry, and I don't know who's angry at me, so then it doesn't really affect me, it affects them. Choose now. You need to choose now, or lose him or her. Oh, I made my choice. So I guess it goes the other way, right? So, I shuffle these cards. I don't want to lose them downstream. <laughs> Correct for neutrality. For those who chose the security hat. I'm asking that I don't drop the, the cards in the, in the river. For those who chose the security hat. Who's angry? The lion's angry. Does that make sense? The lion's angry. The lion's angry. I've got lion in me. Woo! Direct neutrality on all levels. You've got lion in you too. So the father's angry. Direct neutrality on all levels. Direct neutrality on all levels. Woo! I need it to be clear, Father. Archangel. Oh, that one? No, there's two. No? There's two. Did I take them? I heard no, one. Well, one was plant spirit, one was wind spirit. So getting grounded is the best thing to do. Stick with getting close to nature, get your hands in soil. Um, earthing as well, getting getting grounded, get yourself grounded. You might be, maybe, maybe you need to find some balance. Earthing, plant spirit, calling on the nature, calling on the, on the nature animals as well. Which I'm talking about the trees, I'm talking about the plants. Because they're peaceful, they're calming. All of that's very healing. Direct neutrality on all levels. Those who chose the security hat. Ah, it came back, so good. Okay, so you know, it wasn't a mistake, right? It came into my hand. Let me put these away so they're not destroyed. I do respect them. But they gotta go where I go, right? So, Earth Spirit. I'm gonna go back to my legs are cramping. Hold on. Ugh. Okay. earth spirit i can't help but look at the rocks and i keep looking at the fossils the leaves and the shape in the rocks they're literally impressed i don't know if you guys can see it but there's an angel right there in that rock it's also the phoenix rising can you see it there's actually three things that i can see in that rock immediately i need to get that a picture taken of that rock so right in the center is the body these are the wings right so that's the phoenix rising but then close your eyes and open up your eyes again and what you look at is a gray owl it's winking it's got one eye open the owl sees says see past the deception see past the illusion to the truth take the energy of the owl in you can take it into your third eye by rubbing it your third eye with your thumb and saying owl spirit in in circuit i want the i want my owl intuition to work for me and with me I also want my ascended masters, my team, to guide me. One eye is only open. Only one eye. Remember what I said about the panther spirit, how the one eye was, was kind of grainy? The one was clear blue, which is the truth. The other one was not really telling the truth, so it's like self-deception. Close your eye and only use the one, the truth, your integrity, the one eye, your, th your third eye. That's what you want to be working with. So now we go back to earth spirit. Like I said, you need to get grounded. You need to find your balance. Check this out. The number is 10. There's been an ending. 
a conclusion of something. I'm also looking at a waterfall and it's rushing really, really fast. It's stormy. This is stormy weather like last night, lightning strikes and the water is pouring down into this pool here. Support, support stability grounding. Did something just happen? Did, did a falling tower just happen? Did something knock you off your feet and you landed, boosh, into your emotional waters down here? Because right there, I see something floating in the water, right down there. But what you need to understand is behind the curtain of this waterfall stands your best friend. That's spirit. Whenever I was afraid, whenever I was slipping, because you need to get grounded, right? I asked the mountain to hold me. When the great wave comes, go to the mountain. Go to the mountain with your integrity, with your morals. Go to the mountain with the tablets. Can't help but think of Moses and the Ten Commandments. He went to Mount Horeb, Mount Sinai, to get the Ten Commandments. What was written on the Ten Commandments, on those tablets? It was the law, but it wasn't really all of the law. What it was was the moral code. So when the great wave of emotion hits you, when you get washed out, when you get knocked down, I can't help but see a sea serpent right here as well, rising back up out of this water. So boosh, knocks you down into this pool here. There you are floating, and then boom, as the phoenix rises, you become the great sea serpent. You rise above it. You are holding on to the earth. Go to the mountain. The mountain gives you support. The mountain gives you stability. You are grounded when you are with the mountain. Something has ended. It's, ended. it's now time to begin something new. Call upon the earth spirit to help you. Whatever it is that you're going through. Somebody's really angry. They're really angry. And, and somebody needs to back off. Maybe you're angry. Maybe this is a great deluge of emotion. Maybe you've just discovered something and you're fucking pissed. And that serpent, sea serpent, this dragon has risen up out of this. You think you're going to wash me out of here? you got to be fucking kidding. Do you know where I come from? I know who I am. Maybe it's you that's angry. And maybe you're telling them, you know what? I, I'm, I'm a peaceful warrior. But you've pushed me to my limit. And the waterworks have come now. I'm tired of these, of these crocodile tears. I am rising up out of this sea of abyss right here, back into my power. I'm going to get to the place where I am standing with people that are with me, supporting me, where I feel stable, where I feel grounded. And this is over. Whatever this is, it's done. This is the last day of my old life, says number 10. The last day of my old life. So... What do you need to do to get connected? Let's bring it back to something peaceful, right? You, that's the angry message that we got. There's also shyness, right? So I'm hiding behind the curtain of this waterfall. It's kind of like um, in, uh, what is it? Uh, what the hell? Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. He's, he's behind there pulling all the strings, right? He's back there pulling all the strings behind the curtain. But there's only one man behind there. It looked like a big show was going on, but it really wasn't. It was just one person. Made himself look really big. See this little tiny right here or this little tiny right here? And it's projected onto the back and it looks like it's really big. That could be your fear. It could be your fear that you're blowing things way out of proportion. You're seeing something that's way bigger than it is. Right? You need to get grounded. You need to ask spirit for support. Go where you feel supported. Go where you feel you're stable. What was the other messages? Let me see. The other ones were... This is a karmic lesson you need to learn. All right, so what's the lesson? Do you want to constantly be dropped down into that pit? Do you want to constantly be afraid of what's behind the, the next curtain? Oh my God, what's behind curtain number 10? I don't know. I'm pretty excited to find out. Actually, I have no fear because look, Archangel Metatron's all over this shit. <laughs> Archangel Metatron's the bomb. There is nothing for you to fear. What else? What else comes to us for the number 10? What else comes to us for... Number 10. It's just, I mean, it's a perfect number. It's a number of completion. It, it goes back down to two, right? Maybe there's too many people been involved. Maybe this is, you know, they're very angry back off. They're very angry. Who's they? You know, bring it back down to just you and spirit. Bring it back down to two. Not to mention, the greatest master finds peace amidst chaos. You know, maybe other people, when they look at this card aren't reading this card in this way, but I'm seeing all kinds of stuff in this card because of the messages that we got, right? We've got the Phoenix rising right there. We've got, I can see right here, this, this one rising up. Can you see like I can? Can you see that sea serpent? It's a grand sea serpent rising up out of this pool down here. I know who Archangel Metatron is. Archangel Metatron, I've seen him I've, many times. I've worked with him. He works with the weird ones. 
He works with the ones who are dyslexic. He works with the drug addicts. He works with the alcoholics. He works with addiction issues. He works with the ones who always have felt like they were on the outside. The ones that don't feel accepted. The brilliant ones, the eclectic ones, the unique ones. That's who Metatron works with. Metatron's a badass. And he's all over this shit. So there's nothing to be afraid of. And, and if somebody's angry, okay, well, go let them deal with whatever they need to be angry about. Don't let it affect you, right? Go get grounded. Go into spirit. Go into nature. Go to the water. Be water. That's what I'm seeing in this is water and rock. So you're looking at this rock right here, right? This owl. So maybe this great horned owl, somebody who has shown themselves to be a wise person, they're deceptive, deceitful. But you know water can work its way right through that rock? Just drip, 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 drip. It can cut its way through stone. Water is more powerful than a rock. You drop that rock in water, the water goes around it, right? So I'm seeing water and, and stone here in this. You can also look at that, as I said before, in a positive light. The phoenix rising right out of that. I'm also thinking about that giant eye in the face of this owl. This looks more like a snowy owl when I look at its dish face. And it's like, I thought you saw me wink. Maybe there's a message in that. One eye's open, one eye's winking. I thought you saw me wink. Maybe going back to the other messages, there was been a misunderstanding of some sort, right? Well, maybe I didn't know that. Maybe you ought to clarify that. Somebody's winking. That's, that's deceptive. I thought you saw me wink. Well, you didn't. You don't know that, do you? Because you're not telling the full truth. So something needs to be cleared up. What else? John, what do you feel about this card? What do you feel about this card? That nothing is black and white. It's gray, right? It's like in between. There's a lot of light down here, though, at the bottom. So maybe you've already scaled that mountain. And you're going to come back down to Earth. Maybe you've been up in the ethers a little bit too much. Maybe things have been a little too cloudy for you. Right? I'm also thinking about this looking like cement. Cement is, is where you build the foundation of your home on, right? So if something wasn't solid, spirit's going to freaking knock it over. The falling tower. They're going to knock it down. They're going to wash it down. But what happened? The phoenix rose right back up. So maybe somebody's just getting back up on their feet again. But they're grander and greater than they think that they are. You got to connect. You got to get right back and connect to, to, the, to the divine scheme, to the divine plan. What else? I'm going to just look at the, at the, um, I'm going to just look around and see what other messages I get. I'm looking at the water swirling. You know, I'm thinking about, I just, all I see is that serpent rising out of that waterfall and right down in here. So remember what I said down there? See how the white water's all ripped up? See the water's all ripped up down there? It's dangerous down there. You can't really see what's going. Things are moving really, really fast. You got to allow things to go downstream a little bit where things kind of straighten out and calm down. You can't make your decision in the midst of all that bullshit, right? You got to go down here. You got to go away from it. So whoever is very angry, whoever's very angry, get away from them. Get away from them because it's a mess there, right? Shyness is a factor. So if you don't want to speak up, if you don't want to deal with it, if it's something that's, you know, you're not somebody who, who wants to, uh, oh, I'm getting something else too. Let's get away from the anger. So there's a great, great emotion happening. Things are all churned up, right? The water's all whipped up. Your emotional waters are all whipped up. Shyness is a factor. Let's skip the angry part. We're done with that. We don't want to talk about that anymore. I don't. I don't want to talk about that anymore. So the other messages were what? I would say that this is a karmic lesson. You learn it and then move on from it. That, that'll go with the angry stuff. Let's leave that in the past. Let's let the past go. Shyness is a factor. And what was the other one? You need to choose now or lose them. You need to choose now or lose him or her. Dang, that's like, I don't like that. I don't like that. That's like, um, those, that feels threatening to me, right? Like it's either her or us or it's either him or, or, or us. It's you choose now or you lose me. That's somebody threatening somebody. I don't like that. If, if somebody has to make a decision under circumstances like that, they're not making a decision because they want to. They're making a decision because somebody's put them under the gun, and that's bullshit. So I say skip all that, all of that, and let's just go back to the shy guy, because I like that, right? It's okay. 
get away from the churned up water. Go to where Spirit says run away from anger, from ridicule, from judgment, from blame. And go to where there's forgiveness, kindness, mercy, and compassion. You go away. You go away from things when everything's whipped up. And even if you're, you're whipped up in a positive way, right, you got to let things chill just a little bit. You don't really want to make decisions when you're like that, right? So what do you need to do in order to get to a place of calm? This, right? This, this is what you need to do. Look around and start counting your freaking blessings, right? Look around and start saying, by the way, I love the deck, John. That's beautiful. Thanks. That's the end of the cards. Look at this rock. It's in the shape of a heart. Can you see it? It's a giant heart. It's huge. Let me go back. Look at that. Heart. There's hearts carved into the rock. <laughs> There's love everywhere. There's another eye. It's the, it's the eye. It's, it's the all-seeing eye following you, watching you. You're always protected. You're always safe, even when you don't think you are. We always are. I am never afraid. I always go on my own. I'm always hiking around. I don't have any freaking fear. There's panthers out here. Cougars, right? Here's one of them. <laughs> I'm not afraid. The energy is beautiful here. It's amazing. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. So we're going to let go of the anger. Oh, look at the dog. Best friend. See the nose? See the ear? See the eye? Best friend. Loyalty, love, protection, friendship. Go towards that, right? This one doesn't look like they have much to stand on, right? Look at this. The whole bottom's been taken out from under them. But what are they doing? They're leaning into the mountain. What did Spirit say? When the great wave comes, when the great wave of emotion, when the great wave of COVID, when the great wave of whatever the hell it is for you comes, go to the mountain. Lean into the mountain. Look at that. It's like grabbing on. It's grabbing on. It's doing what it needs to do, right? It's amazing. It's amazing. Go exploring. Go hiking. This is called earthing. This is called connecting to the nature spirits. This is what we're supposed to do. Isn't this way more fun than being angry? Who wants to be angry? I don't want to be angry. I don't want to be around people that are angry. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't help my energy. Look at there. Look at the duckweed. I've got that in my little pond at home. Okay, let me just check. Is there a rock? See, that's another thing. Check to see if you got a leg to stand on. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to end up in the drink. All right, you guys. That's the end of our reading. I might have to climb. I could climb with you. I'm, I was going to... I don't want to leave my deck down there for too long, but... Oh, I love climbing. It's my absolute freaking favorite thing to do. And, but it's got to be fun climbing, right? It's got to be fun stuff. Like this. Yeah. I should have brought my backpack. Oh, I do stuff like this. Uh-oh. 88 T's. What does that mean? 88 T's. If this is somebody's regular place. It's kind of a cute hat, though. I don't know. Maybe I should keep it. We'll take it home and wash it. If you see it on me in another reading. <laughs> oh, check this out. See the javelina? Let me back up. There's its nose. They do. They have these pointy snouts. There's its eye. <laughs> That's a javelina foraging around down here. That's interesting. Oh, God, it's beautiful. So freaking beautiful. I love this swamp grass. It's so beautiful. I've got my rock shoes on and my water shoes. I could freaking go across that river, no worries, but I don't want to lose this phone. I've lost a phone in this river before. It was the last day of my trip, and I'm like, oh, I just want to go across the river. And I was in the middle of the river taking the coolest shot, and my phone went boop right into the river. Sucked. Lost all my pictures, too. See, though, I could walk across there, and I could be on the other side. Love it, love it, love it. See, check this out, you guys. That's how high the river goes. You wouldn't believe it, would you? But it does. It goes insanely high. That's why it's so freaking low right now. Okay, I can't go too far. I gotta go back and get my bag. Oh, but look. 
Oh, I love it here. Oh my God, look. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I smell pot. Somebody's here. Somebody's here. I smell pot big time. Wow. Wow, it's really strong. Maybe somebody's growing some weed. Okay. So pretty. I hate stopping. Like I hate having to go back when I'm discovering stuff. Okay, I'm gonna say goodbye. I gotta go back and get my stuff. I love earthing too. <laughs> love you. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you guys later.